We're gonna talk a little bit about AI and copyright. For those of you who haven't been kind of in a loop here, there's been a big concern about if today you decide to use ChatGPT, what you wanna do is use it to create code for your application or you wanna use it for artwork, text, that can include book writing, marketing, advertisement, anything that packaged, even bundled in some type of sales, the idea or the question is licensing. This kind of reminds me of the Napster days, if you're old enough to remember what happened with Napster. A lot of music went online and was shared, and in particularly the music that was shared, there were record labels and artists that actually sued individuals for downloading and having copyrighted material on their computers, on their devices. They were able to sue and successfully win these lawsuits for people that were holding this data, these works as defined on their devices. So the question is today, if you decide that you're gonna take ChatGPT, for example, because that's probably the more popular one, will you be in the next class action type of lawsuit? I'm just gonna read a little bit from this TechCrunch.com article. Microsoft, GitHub, and OpenAI are currently being sued in a class action motion that accuses them of violating copyright law by allowing Copilot, a code generating AI system trained on billions of lines of public code, to regurgitate license code snippets without providing credit. And I believe this article, let's see if I get a date. So this was like almost February of 2023, the end of January 2023, that this class action motion was brought. Apparently, there's a lot of lawsuits out there. On the front end, we are seeing the boom of AI, and I think on the back end, on the administrative side, there are a lot of concerns for intellectual property. So I think it's something definitely to follow. I would say it's always a good idea to have an attorney that you can call on and, and ask these questions before you decide to implement full-scale use of some of these AI generating tools that you're gonna to take to the market, generating code, in general, just generating any content. Because I'm not sure if you've noticed, but when you talk to, for example, ChatGPT, it doesn't exactly tell you exactly where this information comes from. Now you can ask it, but the question is, is there a way for you to check to find out if the material that is being generated may be very close, if not the same, as material that is already copyrighted. And that can be tough, especially if you don't understand or know copyright law, to know if that content is a copy. You all remember being in school, plagiarism. You can't just copy text from a book that's already published and, and copyrighted and place it in your own works. That didn't work in school. It doesn't work in the real world. So something to think about as you're using these tools. I would definitely recommend check out this article. I can save a link here so you can read it. I'm gonna continue here. Two companies behind popular AI art tools, Mid Journey and Stability AI are in the crosshairs of a legal case that alleges they infringed on the rights of millions of artists by training their tools on web scraped images. Another thing, if you're scraping images, if you did that manually, uh, you wouldn't be able to just take someone else's image and say, this is your own. If a robot does it, does that make it right? Well, you could have written the robot to scrape the web for copyrighted images. Does that make it right? And I think that's what cases will, will sort of be about. And I'm sure the owners are gonna have to figure out ways to prove that in fact what was scraped belongs to them. Now the digital world has been very successful in finding ways to tag their digital images and fingerprint them per se uh, so that they can understand if they're being used by someone else. Okay so this might be a case that is able to be proven you know the works are being used without authorization anyway i just thought that was a good article to share here because you know we've all been pretty excited about these advancements in technology however we do need to pay attention to make sure that it's being used in the right way that we don't find ourselves in a court case or in a class action lawsuit on the other side of it needing to pay fines out all right that's it for today